Okay. Middle. Middle can be a great behavior to teach your dog for a variety of reasons. You can use this to keep your dog close to you when you need to, when you're out and about in public. You could use it for a jugular blood draw at the vet. You could use it for things like nose work if you want to start your dog in this position and then, okay, release them to go and do an exciting thing like nose work. Um, just a whole variety of things you could use it for. You could use it for pictures and it's a really cute photo opportunity. Um, it's a fun behavior to teach and there are a few different ways to teach it. I'm going to show you how you can teach it using a target as a way to get your dog to follow the target through your legs and then either stand in position or you could actually have them follow that target into a sit if you would prefer they sit in position there. I like a stand with caster. Um, you'll want to consider how tall your dog is, how wide they are, how tall you are, how comfortable they're going to be going through your legs like that. If, they're, if you have a really tall dog and you're kind of short, you may want to pull them, uh, or, or not pull them, but uh, have them follow that target or treat where a little bit further through your legs so they're not cramped and kind of claustrophobic stuck in between your legs. So you'll want to think about those things. When you pick an area to train, try to pick an area like this where you're able to throw a treat behind you to start your dog and where they don't have a whole lot of room to wander on either side of you. That's going to set you up for success, making it very likely that your dog's going to head back toward your legs if you're standing like this. And then you could either use a treat lure or like I said, I'm going to use a target but you'll use something to get your dog to follow through your legs. When they're in position, I'm gonna click and then feed a treat. And then I'm gonna say, okay, and then I'm gonna then throw a treat back here. So the okay is gonna be my release. And then I'm gonna throw a treat back here to reset. So we can just practice that behavior again really quickly. And I'm gonna use a target, not a treat lure. But if your dog doesn't know follow a target, you could use a treat lure to teach this behavior. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm gonna use this target stick, have Casper follow this through. And when he's in the position that I want him in, I'm gonna click and then I'm gonna feed him a treat. I have some treats here in my clicker hand I'm holding to. And then I'll say, okay, like I said, and toss that treat off behind me. So the click, or if you don't have a clicker, you could use a word like yes, to just signal to your dog, yep, that's the thing I wanted you to do, you're doing it food is on the way. So you're going to um, use that as a signal to tell them that. And then the okay is a signal to tell them, hey, you're done doing that thing. Head back over here and grab your treat. And that just resets them really nicely for the next repetition. So it could look something like this. Okay. Okay, so you see it's click or yes and then treat. The treat comes after. Okay, and then we reset there. Okay, middle. So once your dog was doing it reliably, okay, you could add that cue. And then you'd want to start varying some other things that you were doing with your training once they had this part down really well. Okay, for instance, what I did right there, that was duration. Casters worked up to standing here for quite a period of time. Um, and I'm gonna stop marking him for being in position now and I'm just gonna say, okay, and toss him the treat off when he's done. Middle, okay. Now I'm gonna start kind of varying middle, okay. The way I'm standing, middle, okay, climb. So I was starting to vary the way I was standing just a little bit so he begins to learn, oops, sorry bud. So he begins to learn not just to come back through my legs when I'm standing straight in front of him, but when I'm standing at different angles too. As you add those new components, working on things like duration and moving your position and that sort of thing, remember to only work on one of those things at a time. Um, so your dog is learning uh, just little changes at one time, and then the big changes will come together later. 
I guess that's it for this video though, because Miha has said she's had enough time standing behind the gate eating her treats and she's ready to come out for her training session now. Okay.